Court. All right, what we got? This guy's wicked. This guy is crazy. <laughs> but now nah, we Nuts. talk about apologizing, bro. We are talking about the science. Well, I put it as the science of apologizing. Oh. Yeah, just the full 180, which is TTing it up and then apologies. Which I feel like the inspiration behind it was, I feel like in a society right now, apologies are not as genuine or it's just like a lot of people are just trying to get the next person to shut up or they're not apologizing at all. But it's like, this is this is what I did, what I did. I said what I said. Either you going to deal with it I'm just or me. you're not. Yeah, you feel <laughs> me? So just kind of wanted to talk about apologizing in a relationship. And I feel like we don't really have that conversation about how to apologize, when to apologize. Mm. That's a great conversation. Mm-hmm. What's the first question? Is why it like you, how do we like well, like or why do we apologize? How do we apologize? Well, I think what we is, know why. Well, well yes. why? Right. But really, why do you all apologize? I mean, mm. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it funky with you. Apologizing is a super unique space because even when we talk about like safe spaces and things like that, when we talk about topics. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I apologize just so you can shut the f*** up. Oh, I know. But in doing that, though, <laughs> respectfully, I think it's, I don't want to say technique, because yeah, like, sometimes you can apologize to get your partner to like to, to stop the, the, the bleeding or stop the argument from happening. And, and I get it. But I think it's some positive in it. So like, let's, let's not just look at it as negative, because it comes with a lot, right? So... The fact that I can swallow my pride, right, even to end an argument, it might not be the best reason, right? It might not be the best reason, but it still gives some type of solitude or comfort to the to the, to the other person because it ain't like I'm saying I'm only apologizing to you to shut you. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. So even still, with some type of conflict resolution, right? If it makes sense, even if it's not coming from the right place, that's one. My second point is. Sometimes me apologizing gives me time to think about what I actually did. Hmm. So let's say, for example, a super toxic way to apologize. No, no. You know how we talk about this power in silence, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In silence, and like it's power in like saying not right now. Think about it like this: if 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 you think I'm wrong, right, and I'm willing to be humble enough. To say I apologize, even if I don't mean it in my heart, right? That at least gives you comfort to uh, to feel her, right? Agreed. And now I can go on my own and dissect a little more. Yeah, dissect or, let or it re- to reflect settle, reflect like, on more. if I really felt that way, right? Mm. And if I didn't, maybe I can come back later, right? But if I did, then I can sit in my apology, be like, "Yo, you know what? That was wrong." But do you go back and like, re- like reiterate, like? That you under fully understand. Not if I express it already. Okay. Okay. What do you mean if you don't express so it? So like, it, like apologies. If come, you already apologize. Yeah. No, but apologize come in different forms, right? I might be like, you know what, you're right, my bad. Or I'm like, no, nah, you know what, I did. I apologize for that. And if <clears> I <throat> didn't say that, I'd probably come back. But mm. if I already said it, then I meant what I said. If it makes sense. I get what you mean. I, I like I, I definitely get what you mean because like I could I could see how it kind of leaves like you said it soothes somebody else mm-hmm. and then it also allows you more time to reflect and dissect what like originally happened but I think the only thing that I could say about it is sometimes even though you like apologize and maybe you didn't understand mean it or you just were trying to soothe the situation to me the other to me I can say for myself. A lot of times I can feel that. Like, I can feel if somebody doesn't understand where I'm coming from. Mm. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Or, like, doesn't fully acknowledge, like, how I feel because they don't... Like, you cannot fully acknowledge how I feel if you don't understand where I'm coming from. Because the apology may come with, like, at first, like, what do you mean? Like, you know, all right, I'm sorry. You know what I'm trying to say? But, like, I feel like when you fully understand somebody, it comes with a, nah, I could see how da-da-da. Because, honestly, one time this may happen to me or when this happens to me, I feel the same way. So, it comes with a different level of empathy. You get what I'm trying to say? I feel like when a lot of times, maybe the other side, not even just talking to you because you're not the only person who does that or have done it. You know what I'm saying? I've, I probably have done that. You know what I'm saying? So, the other side still comes with the, 
I don't really get what you're saying, but my bad. You know what I'm trying to say? It's Let a different energy. Thing. Does it I'm matter? So and why? It matters because the whole point, I feel like if there is a situation that arise and somebody's telling you how they feel, it's probably to be understood and hurt. So if you don't, if you're not, if you don't, if you're not apologizing because you don't, you, you probably don't get it. You don't understand. That's the only reason why. Not your apology. I mean, you do, you're apologizing, but you don't mean it. It's probably because you don't understand. You didn't get it. So, so you probably just didn't, you, you didn't hear it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where there was a missing spot there. What's the definition of humility? I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. Look it up. I ask that because even if I don't understand, if yeah. I'm humble enough to even in the midst of not understanding mm -hmm. where you're coming from, if I'm humble enough to still apologize, I think that means more than even understanding. Because if I understand, we're on the same page. I get it. You're right. But if I don't understand, and I as a apologize. human, right? That's my, fair. My, my, and my nature as a human, if I don't understand, I ain't trying. Nothing yeah, you're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at least you're still willing to apologize. But if I'm, what is it? Go ahead. It says a modest or low view of one's own importance. Yeah, so it's like if I don't understand, so think about it. If you I can fight, if, you can either fight. I'm for a fight. I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. no, I don't get it, bro. Nah, you ain't making no right, sense. Right, nah, right. I'm not sorry because you're wrong. But if I don't understand it and I still apologize, I think that says more than understanding. So, go ahead. I guess I think that is does apologizing have to be tied to compassion and empathy? Mm. Yeah, oh, because yeah. then, because that's what I like. That's what I hear. Because I, I, a hundred percent get what you're saying because I'm like mm, that actually makes a lot of sense but for me I think I and I, I don't know like for me I want the understanding you mm. know what I'm trying to say I would rather under the understanding even out even versus the apology you know what I'm trying to say but that's person to person somebody might just want to hear I'm sorry you know what I'm saying me I, I need you to hear and understand and stand in my shoes for a second you know what I'm trying to say so does the apology have to correspond with empathy and compassion i don't know if all couples go through this because like just be honest like me too i want to understand if i had to be selfish in my feelings shit i want to be understood because if you understand me then hope then i'm thinking maybe you ain't gonna do it again right mm -hmm. if you understand me mm -hmm. but even in that i think is 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 power and, and humility in that because i know i want the understanding but growth is Knowing that I ain't gonna be understood all the time, and that that mm -hmm. doesn't mean to take mm -hmm. it personal. Mm -hmm. Growth is if someone says they apologize for something, even if you feel like they don't understand, let it go. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like that's crazy because I don't know about you, Alex, but I would. I don't know what I'm saying, but I want to understand it too. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand me. Like if mm -hmm. I had my way, I want you to understand mm -hmm. me. But it's like. I have to recognize that even if you don't understand me, the fact that you made effort to just be like, yo. That's true. I apologize. That's true. 